Well, it happened. So, I've never seen a community do something like this before. Uh, quite, quite interesting. So, as you guys know, I have a WordPress, um, not a WordPress, I have a, a YouTube channel, and I highly recommend watching a couple videos. Let me change views here. So, watch, watch my video from 10 days ago, and then my video from 12 days ago. And I've been sitting on this trying to really understand what's happening. Uh, I have I have this video about uh, Matt Mullenweg and then four questions I have for Matt Mullenweg. I highly recommend watching those. The since two weeks ago and two days, uh, so it's been, what, f uh, 16 days since Matt Mullenweg was at WordCamp US and basically told the WordPress uh, community or the WordPress company, the company uh, of WordPress, of, of uh, WP Engine, um, told them that they're not giving back to the community. And Matt has, it, it actually was really confusing at the beginning because he was not very organized on his thoughts and his call out. Um, and basically, I'm, let me try to sum this up. Matt goes on, I, I'm going to, I'm cutting, I'm not giving you all of the details because I think when Matt came on stage and gave us all this information, it wasn't, it wasn't organized and it didn't make any sense. I couldn't understand if the, if, why he was doing what he was doing and all this stuff. So it, basically what, what Matt Mullenweg has done now is the the legal aspect of it is is different than the actual problem um i think i forget who who called it uh who used the analogy of al capone al capone uh he was a, a bootlegger in what the 1920s and he wound up going to prison for tax evasion basically what what he what the IRS, I think, did, if the IRS existed back then, the government basically got him on tax evasion. He wasn't paying taxes on all of the illegal gained stuff. They couldn't get him on all that stuff, but they got him on paying taxes, so he went to prison. I think this is a similar situation where Matt Mullenweg sees what WP Engine is doing and saying, you're not giving back and I'm going to tell you that you are breaking the WordPress um, logo or the uh, trademark and basically saying that WP Engine, people are getting confused with WordPress and WP Engine. Apparently, some people think it's the same company or owned by the same company, and that's the confusion. So it's brand awareness is is a problem and one of the problems i have with that is that matt hasn't really just hasn't gone after people that have misused the trademark in 10 years and so now they're trying to apply it and honestly there's a chance that they lose the trademark the ability to enforce that which, which actually I think would be good for the WordPress community. It was not be good. It would not be good for Automatic, but it'd be good for the WordPress community because then we wouldn't have to worry about this. But that is my fear: is that Matt Wollenweg decides to that WP Engine isn't giving back enough, and so they he and only him apparently decides to shut down where WP Engine no longer has access to the WordPress repositories. Because they're not giving back, he says, I'm gonna block all of their IP addresses, all of their servers, so they can't get updates. So WP Engine is going to have to, which they did, um, setting up, they wound up setting up a copy of the WordPress ecosystem. So 
plugins, themes, update, all that stuff, it's all in some kind of repository. And now WP Engine has kind of forked that and set that, set that up, and they're using that to get all of those updates. But my problem is when, when there's a, like a nuclear threat, right? It, it's not just one person in the, the, in the military that have access to the nuke codes, right? You have multiple people that have the codes. So that way, at least two people, you know, it takes more than one person to create a nuclear war, which actually, as I, as that's coming out of my mouth, that's really weird. Um, but my question is why, why is it that Matt Mullenweg is the only one that has access to that? I mean, I would think it's, it's a nonprofit. They would have to go through some kind of committee saying, yes, we're going to vote and, say, yes, these people are, this company is breaking all these rules, we're going to banish them. Um, but apparently Matt can just decide, hey, they don't have access, they don't get access to updates, they're on their own, which every hosting company should, at that point, be a little concerned, right? Uh, what if, what if Bluehost or GoDaddy or somebody, you know, some hosting company, you know, where Matt says, you know what, I see what they're doing, and it's not exactly right, but I'm going to to get them to play nicely, according to Matt, I'm going to put some pressure on them. Um, and I just, that's not open source, man. That's, that's just not how open used to be. Um, so I'm just really a little confused on on what's going on. So here here's here's a couple updates. So um, Matt, pretty gutsy decision here. He decided to. The, um, I'm on his website, um, and basically what happened is, um. 8%, 8.4% of the employees of Automatic quit. Matt said, you know what? If you don't like the way I'm running the company, this is this is my interpretation, but this is how I see it. If you don't like how the way I'm running the company, then you can leave and here's some money. And 8%, 159 employees left. Um, it is just a really interesting... Um, it's really real interesting. Um, it it really. I I don't know how to, how to handle this uh, at this point. It's just real messy. Um, so, highly recommend um, watching one more thing before. Um, if you haven't watched Theo's video, the I got cited in the WordPress lawsuit. Um, make sure you do that. That is going to give you probably more information than my video will. Um, he does a really good job going through um, what the lawsuit is. And one of the things that he brings to our attention is that, and I, I apologize, I can't think of, I don't know how to pronounce um, Josepha. I always, I always want to say Josepha, but it's, it's, it's not uh, Josepha. Um, who was um, the one of the head head people in the WordPress community? Um, she is one of the 159 people that that left. Um, she is extremely well known in the WordPress community, and the fact that she said, I, I mean, it shows to me that there was some kind of argument or fight where Matt. I mean, and I'm making assumptions here. I'm, I'm assuming Matt says, we're blocking these people. And she said, no, we're not blocking these people. And then she quit. I don't quote me on that, but I mean, that's kind of, that, I feel like that's, that's kind of reading between the lines. Um, you don't leave automatic or you don't leave a good job if, if everything is working out well. Right. So there, there has to be something going on. So, Hopefully we'll know more uh, soon. Um, let's see, WP Engine, cease and desist. Um, 
this is the old uh, cease and desist. Um, anyway, um, things are a little messy right now, and I will just tell you, I'm going to switch back over here, and I will tell you, um, wrong camera, there we go, everything's going to be fine. Um, right now, it looks really bad, I get that, um, but this is just a bump in the road. Um, we're, we will, f we, it will be figured out. Um, we will, uh, things will be forked, uh, or, or things will be, uh, set up better. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things where it's, I'm, I don't want to say it's too big to fail. That's not true, but WordPress does have a huge market share even if we went down to 10 percent of the market share uh, that we of what we currently have we probably would still be bigger than joomla and drupal and other other systems out there so i'm not worried about wordpress but what i what i am the, the thing that that bothers me the most is that i know from this point on anytime I have to sell a website, there's this small chance that someone's going to say, ooh, you build websites on WordPress? Did you guys get that crazy leader guy? Did Is everything taken care of there? You know, now, again, Matt might have valid points. And in fact, he does have valid points. It's and that That's why it's actually kind of hard. I understand what he's saying. He wants people to give back. The way he's doing it is really bad for the WordPress community, and it makes it a lot harder for people like me in the meantime. So um, I'll try to post next week uh, in seven days or so and see what we can get get out there. Um, there's, there's just a, a lot of unknown, but I know that the community is going to be fine. We will survive. Um, we might be smaller, uh, a little bit smaller after this, um, which is not not the end of the world. Um, I always tell people that at this point, even if WordPress stopped today, there's probably going to be enough websites for me to maintain it until I retire. Um, that's a kind of sad uh, and I think true true statement. So I'm not worried about the overall community. Um, but in the meantime, while we're trying to figure out how this is going to work, it's just not fun. Um, so anyway, I'll post, I'll post again shortly. So thanks. Um, also, if you guys don't mind, uh, like, and subscribe, I don't normally ask people, uh, to do that, but it actually does help with the algorithm. So if you could please, uh, hit me a like, uh, and a subscribe, that would be super awesome. So, all right. Thanks a lot.